Throughout history there have been numerous mysterious books and manuscripts said to hold magical and even deadly powers and curses. Books contain knowledge and knowledge is power. But would you read something that is to die for? In this video we take a look at some of the world's deadliest and cursed books. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. Picture the scene, a dusty old library, a researcher carefully manoeuvring a book onto a stand, beads of sweat slowly forming on his brow. The pages of the book he is about to open not only hold knowledge but also a deadly poison, arsenic. This because of the paint used by the printing process employed during the Victorian era. This may sound bizarre and have you asking yourself if it was done purposely to protect the book and its knowledge from unworthy eyes but in actuality paper can be toxic. Old manuscripts are often found to contain glowing green arsenic. This forces many libraries and other collectors of rare books to check their most recently acquired books using x-rays before they can even handle them. Karl Lund Ramusan and Jacob Foll Hulk explained their process. We take these rare books to the x-ray lab because the library had previously discovered that medieval manuscript fragments such as copies of the Roman law and conical law were used to make their covers. It is well documented that European bookbinders in the 16th and 17th century used to recycle old parchments. This where the problem arises. Many old book covers are caked in a heavy layer of green paint. This paint was making the reading of the underlying text almost impossible. So the men decided to use a technique called micro x-ray fluorescence. They shined a pinhole thin beam of light onto their manuscripts. This in the hope of highlighting specific elements such as calcium or iron that was baked into the underlying ink. This would illuminate the hidden text and enable it to be read but instead they found arsenic. Arsenic being a natural metalloid found all over earth. However when combined with other elements like hydrogen and oxygen it becomes deadly poisonous. This toxicity does not diminish over time. This element was popularly used during the 19th century in products ranging from dyes to paints. This meaning the people of the time unknowingly used poisonous postage stamps, wallpaper and clothing. Talk about beauty to die for. These deadly books were made unintentionally but there are also a few that have been purposeful. We all know about the curses of ancient Egypt. Most good mummy movies feature dire warnings against the desecration of temples and tombs. The same principle was applied to valuable documents. A Babylonian king placed a curse on a set of clay tablets way back in the 7th century BC. So let's start with the Necronomicon, a book with a known curse. This in the sense that anyone who messes with it is pretty much guaranteed to raise the dead and get themselves into a whole heap of trouble. While a book offers us a chance to find adventure and mystery, a cursed book brings calamity to anyone who dares open it. Let's take a look at some of the more modern works of literature which could lead you to terror. Our number one is The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Junet Diaz. Oscar Wilde because no matter what you believe, Fuku believes in you. The opening pages of Diaz's novel are dedicated to explaining the curse that plagues the Wow family. The curse known as Fuku. It was said to have originated in Africa 
it spread across the Atlantic finding a new home in the modern day Dominican Republic. This curse is bad, it not only curses the people but the bloodline, the curse follows families through generations. Oscar's short life full of personal turmoil and his eventual demise is a testament to the curse's potency. Now for a book that has been made into many movies, Jay Anson's The Amityville Horror. This reportedly true story recounts the horror filled night that saw the demise of six members of the DeFeo family. The Lutz family moved into the house and that's when all sorts of supernatural happenings occurred. Those that have been involved in both the book and the movie have been plagued by mysterious and evil events. The claim is that the story is so potent it attracts the attention of demons and other evil spirits. Sticking with horror movies and books they are associated with a classic Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula is the main character who is cursed with eternal life. He himself a curse spreading his immortality and bloodlust to all those which he bites. This story is thought to be an allegory for the Irish migration which was occurring at the time of the book's writing. The Irish were regarded as a curse, their integration with the population seen as polluting pure bloodlines. The newest book on our list? Nightbird by Alice Hoffman. Nightbird is set many centuries ago, the stories tell of a witch cursing the Fowler family, so now every Fowler son is born with wings. These writings are based on curses or carry curses themselves. Do you think curses are real? Would you fear reading these stories? Do you own any of these books or have you read them? If you do or have, has anything untoward occurred related to the book? Let me know your stories in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.